traders I'm done trading for the day and uh, we're going to talk today about uh, trading with market direction as you can see here I've got um, two trades today in fact three trades two in Tesla and one in RLX and I really want to talk a little bit about uh, market direction and the way to anticipate market direction the way to pick a stock once looking at the S&P 500 when I say market direction I mean the S&P 500 which is probably the biggest and most important tool for um, everyone I mean the most important rule the first rule I teach on the Star Trader course is always to watch the S&P 500 the reason is the S&P 500 is the main tool of the institutional traders when the S&P 500 is moving up they buy when it's moving down they sell I'm not going to get into the explanation here which I go uh, and explain for uh, quite a long time on the Star Trader course so just <laughs> join us um, and um, we do have a great deal right now if uh, Clifton's going to post uh, some some links we have uh, uh, a, you definitely can join us uh, and, and learn more about it but let me just say that when the S&P is moving up institution, institutional traders are buying uh, you probably need to know why and probably need to know why they're selling when the S&P is coming down but anyway uh, the fact is when you're trading you need to be watching the S&P 500 but not at all times let me explain right now uh, why and how so um, I've got uh, three trades today all of them in green two of them in Tesla one in RLX I'll start with RLX and the reason I do that is because RLX has a huge gap down today 43% when stock is gapping down 43% you expect a gap and go and RLX did, did just that I, I wasn't following RLX it was posted by one of you guys in uh, the trading room today um, and um, as you can see it started with a gap down came down reversed nice short under a whole number 12 and continued down for 65 cents and now bear in mind that's a 12 dollar stock and now well it did take me out once it moved again over 12 dollars but after a nice winner and then as you can see now it's getting to a new low so a very clear gap and go so what about market direction nothing why because when a stock is gapping down 43 percent it has nothing to do with market direction because uh, the S&P 500 again a tool that uh, institutional, inst institutional traders are following is a tool for stocks which are moving up and down approximately 3% when the stock is gapping down 40 something percent they are out of the game so who's left in RLX the only one who are left in RLX are people like us traders possibly investors I mean most of the people in fact are investors people who are buying for the long run maybe some of them are averaging down their losses today maybe some of them are catching falling knives which they shouldn't and some of them of course like us are shorting the stock so RLX uh, was a beautiful trade without market direction it has nothing to do with market direction well I, I wouldn't say nothing to do when a stock is normally stock like uh, Tesla 60% of the movement of the stock the intraday movement of stocks come from the S&P 500 really that's the institutional traders who are pushing it back pushing it up when the market's moving up but in RLX that would probably be maybe 10% so it's more about fear and greed of just uh, people like us traders so RLX has nothing to do with market direction that's also something I need to talk about because it's not always that the market direction is up is is is, uh, is important the same applies for my first trade in Tesla today first trade in Tesla today was long over 688 right over here Tesla gapped up today in a big way and um, Tesla gapped up because it had some great news today some analysts believe that uh, Tesla's price is going to go up to 3000 which is a fantastic uh, reason to short it seriously they're wrong all of the time not most of the time all of the time well I should say most of the time really but when you hear an analyst speak about a stock that's probably going to go higher it's like an 80 percent good chance to short it and make money anyways uh, Tesla started with the gap up today but since it started with the gap up there will be a pressure for the long side and it has nothing to do with market direction these are one minute candles here you see Tesla moved initially down a little bit well kind of went sideways tried to move lower failed and then when it was about to move over the highs I decided I'm going to take it for the long ride so the, the thing is this long right here over 688 has nothing to do nothing to do with the market direction why because the first 10 minutes or so the market can do just whatever it feels like doing and it's not really um, 
influencing much the stocks. There's a lot of open orders coming from uh, the weekends. Normally on a Monday morning, this could be like a 30 minute move. And there's a lot of uh, opening orders at the first 10 minutes or so. So there's nothing there that um, really helps you trade Tesla other than the fact that it gapped up. So it could be a gap and go. And since it is under a pressure to the upside, a lot of people are buying it, gapped up, then it's likely to, you know, have a big initial move and then I moved out once it came down again under 688 that's it took my partial moved out and it continued to trend lower there was a point today where, where we watched the S&P 500 uh, moving higher and at that point when it was moving higher it started going sideways once it started going sideways we didn't really know when and how it's going to continue higher there was a point where the S&P started touching the highs and moving slightly higher that was the point where we anticipated that the S&P is likely to move higher this was with market direction that was the point where we were waiting for Tesla to move over 680 and continue higher that was the point where we thought that if Tesla is going to move over 680 once the S&P is likely it touched over the highs but it did not continue but it was likely to move over 680 that was the point where we took Tesla uh, for another ride up and that was uh, and still riding it and still riding it so that was the point once we uh, enjoyed another Tesla trade so I've got three trades today all of them in green territory why first two trades nothing to do with market direction big gap and go um, uh, the same applies for my fa Tesla first trade then my second Tesla trade was fantastic because it did has to do with the market direction and when the S&P is moving higher or you anticipate it's going to move higher then you anticipate institutional buyers to start buying and then when they do start buying they give you like a, so it's not only about a stock like Tesla which is relatively strong therefore you trust it to move higher other than other stocks. I mean, you guys saw some other stocks which are which were trending lower and some of you mentioned maybe we should go long NEO, for example, but NEO was red. So there's no reason to go long a stock which is red when you've got a stock like Tesla, which is green, and then you click on the button when the market is likely to move higher and y your chance just becomes uh, higher than. Tesla was already uptrending at that point and um, kind of uptrending from the lows of course extremely dangerous but it was up 3% therefore likely to move higher and when the market's moving higher and you've got the backwind for the S&P 500 then it's no longer just let's say 60% because of the technical formation because it's let's say it's trending higher now so if it's trending higher I don't know what you have it's like 55% to succeed 60% to succeed but then if you buy it with market direction or you anticipate the market direction you anticipate the institutional buyers to start buying and they are 80% of the volume in the market not we they are so at that point once it started moving higher that was the point to click in move in with the trade uh, and then it's no longer 55 or 60% it's probably 70% that's my two cents about market direction S&P uh, institutional traders buying a stock which is up trending nice technical formation uh, breakdowns gap and goes whatever so just a small lesson hopefully it was helpful and uh, thank you very much for following us today I really enjoyed today although it was kind of boring yeah it still is markets not moving making much of a move but finally did move over to a new high so maybe it's going to continue and I want to thank you for joining so thank you all um, if you guys on YouTube like to give us a thumb up we will really appreciate that and there's a button there which can help you subscribe if you want to know when we're going live like right now in the trading room there's a button then just click on the bell and uh, it's gonna let you know when we are live or when we are posting a new video so um, thank you for following and uh, I see you all tomorrow bye traders